I'm over here sweating like it's summer in 76 with a 5.3 liter. Welcome back, guys. Currently uh, putting new uh, casters on. So, intro, bad hair day. Yeah, humid, dirt already. Um, rear man, rear main oil seal. Putting that in. Can you see? Not really. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're getting into this right now. I got to get to this back cover. So I took the motor off the engine stand for now, got it back on the hoist. And um, like I said, I got to get to these back bolts. I took all the bolts out here on the flex plate, um, which the start engages on. That's the flex plate. It's the back of the motor, obviously. So the rear main seal is going to be behind this cover that I got to take off. So let me try to get you guys set up. We can take this off and try to get to the back of the cover. All right, guys, I got you set up. But where's my pry bar? Okay, right here. I want to go easy on this thing, though, but it's on a, a little bit of a the back side of the crank. So you just gotta kind of work your way off of it. Go easy. Don't, keep, don't pry too hard. Thinking about spraying some. Oh, got it. I was gonna about to spray some uh, some penetrating oil, but she came off. So I really wasn't prying all that hard. So I shouldn't take too much to get this off. You don't really wanna warp this. You wanna make sure this thing stays pretty straight. So as you can see, as I got these guys set up on the tripod, um, we got chickens, so yeah, we're gonna do the chicken thing. Hopefully that, uh, hopefully that we get some eggs out of it, lay some eggs, have some uh, scrambled eggs and bacon. Um, okay, so I gotta zip this cover off. I never painted the back side of this block, and uh, you're never gonna see it, so I'm not really gonna worry about it because the bell housing goes here for the transmission, so. But I definitely wanted to get in the back of this thing for the rear main seal on here. So let's see if I can zip these off. All right, well, you guessed it. Uh, 10 millimeter. And uh, it doesn't feel like these are on very tight. There's a little 12 volt little fuel, little impact wrench in there coming right off. Yeah, there was no way of doing this on the engine stand the way I had to set up, even if I had um, the flex plate removed, which I probably should have done in the first place. So I'm actually gonna leave that off when I bolt this thing back up to the, uh, back up to the, um, let's put these in here. Got a couple over here. I'm probably gonna leave it off when I go back, when I put this, bolt this back on. So, all right, so here is, the gasket. Oh, there's the back side of the uh you see the back side of the camshaft. You can see the little gremlin guy. Um the biggest thing I gotta do is get that the seal out of here. So this is the rear main seal that goes on this cover. It's infamously leaks, but look at that. That thing hasn't seen a drop of oil, which is great. But uh, I have it and I want to replace it, so I'm gonna clean this cover up. I have the new gasket for the rear of the motor, which I'm gonna put that on. And you can see this is kind of similar to the front and had a crossover uh, port and that's for your lifters. That's your oil port for your lifters. So we'll clean this up, brake cleaner, um, put a little pan down below here so we can catch some of that stuff. And then, um, yeah, try to get this uh, cleaned up and bolted back up. I don't know, this angle isn't the best. I should probably do overhead, but I'm trying to, guys, I'm trying to film this by yourself is tough. So... You can see the thing is definitely, it's worn. I'm assuming these little tabs right here, I haven't Googled this or YouTube this, it's a seal, so it can't be all that hard, right? So I got this little, uh, this little um, tool to take out plastic clips. Let's see if we can get that underneath there. Nope, I don't like that. What we could do is um, get a chisel on the inside. I've done that before, a little, or a little punch. We can just punch on the back side of that. I think we're gonna do that nice and easy. Give yourself a small punch. And see if we, you know what? I even got a nail set. I mean, even try the nail set. Put that thing away, I don't need that. It ain't got no gas in it. All right, um, yeah, the only thing is, I kinda gotta get this set up off camera, kinda. Well, not off camera, but I gotta get it set up where I can get, um, where I can get the seal out without hitting the table. I'm down on the ground. I'm coming back up. So I'm gonna have to raise this up. See what I got here. A couple sockets maybe. A couple sockets. Put 
these two sockets here and here on the outside of the cover that should that should get it I'll put one more on the top there just raise this up and then right in here this is steel ring so that should that should come down We moving? Uh, not really. Uh, that is the seal, right? Yeah. I think it is. Huh. Yeah, that's the seal all the way through. The seal comes up and hits inside here. So I was just making sure I was hitting on. Hitting on the, uh, hitting on the, hitting on the seal. I hope I'm, I don't know, that might not be the back side of the seal. I think I'm hitting the lip of the case. I don't think so. You know what we should do? Hopefully I'm not getting the case. That would be not good. But let's look at the rear main seal. Let's look at the rear main seal and take a look. Exactly. Probably should have Googled this. <coughs> yeah, no, that goes up into place. Absolutely. See how thick that is? That definitely goes up into place up in this gasket right here. So that's what we gotta try to get out. And that is a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's all gas. You can see the space. Oh yeah, it is moving a little bit, but. This thing's going there. I might have to put this and put some penetrating oil on this thing. Put in the, put in the bucket. I'm just juicing it down. Yeah, PB, this is what I got. I don't got none of that Croy oil. I think it's like $86 a can. I don't have that. Although, if I got my hands on it, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably say it would work because I've seen some videos of that thing. It is uh, some pretty good stuff. Yeah, I wonder if there's a way to take this out from this side. You know what? Maybe I should go. The way of the world yeah look at it. it almost looks like it's um beveled well it is beveled it doesn't look like beveled it is beveled see what i can do here hold on whoa all right so what i did was actually use one of these tabs here and i put the hammer in here like that and i tapped it down i didn't have a recording i'm sorry but i pried up on it what a pain in the ass that was and thank god i was hitting the seal with the punch you can see what i did some damage here but I knew that was the seal because after I looked on it, this rubber, this rubber seal, which I did a little damage there. This wasn't damaged before I started messing with it. So just a heads up. So well, that's good though. She wasn't leaking. So we're going to put the new one in. Um, and I think this plastic retainer helps you push it in place. But I just got to see. Yeah, it goes down just like that. I don't know if I got to take this out before I install. I may. Uh, look into that, but I got to clean this up first. All right, we're back. Well, for you, you guys didn't go anywhere, or I should say I didn't go anywhere. Movie magic. So, clean it up a little bit. It's good enough for what we're doing. Uh, send it like that. Aluminum, which is nice. Um, use some degreaser. Uh, I think I used, what did I use? Purple Power degreaser and my little whizzle wheel on my, um, I'll show you on my drill that I bought recently, little poker. Thing's awesome. I got a big dish one, and now that little poker one, that thing's great. And I'll show you why. I knew I was gonna need it, I already used it, but like even right in there, I got in those oil passages. I couldn't get the channel, but um, you know, I sprayed, I sprayed some cleaner in there. So like I said, this is good enough for what we're doing. So now, I wanna see yeah, I think I'm going to install it with this plastic on because I think it keeps it nice and um, circular. 
that's my plan and it goes in just like that i wonder if i'm gonna put i know i'm not wondering i don't know why i keep talking in the past tense i'm going to use some grease let me get some grease or is it tube of grease this will work some just some regular just using some uh just some grease any grease would do i, I would assume well i take that back um i want to make sure it's going to be okay for um oil um the rubber seal so this is rubber but this will just help i'm just going to put a thin layer all the way around just so it helps um just so it helps goes goes in go in a little bit better now now the tricky part is getting this thing square let me uh pivot top the tricky part is getting this thing square so it goes in all at the same time so like i said i got this thing on a bench flat so what you want to do is get this thing started but you want to be square nope that's not square see how it wanted to shift to one side i don't think i have a seal um Wow, that's just going in right like that, huh? That's amazing. I guess huh, this grease did help. Oh, it just went in just like that. Unbelievable. I didn't even knock on it, really. The first time it pushed out of place because I didn't have a seal driver big enough to do that. So I'm hoping that's going to be all right because that just went in all the way. It's seated. Holy moly. Again, I didn't YouTube this installation on how to do the rear main seal. Pretty self-explanatory. And I think that thing's bottomed out. I pushed it all the way until it couldn't go anymore. So that's what we're going with. And voila. And this plastic piece does come out like so. And there's your seal. Nice. Yeah, it's bottomed all the way out. I can see it here. I don't know if you can get that good camera angle. See a little bit of grease, but that grease did help big time putting that in. So I would suggest get yourself some automotive grease. This is stuff I used, if you're curious. Didn't even know it was high temperature, but I've had this grease tube for a while. Yeah, chassis and farm equipment. Yeah. Sticky formula stays, <laughs> stays in applications longer. Okay blue vary you to make sure you get it on there all right so guys that's it right there rear main seal on the cover paint let's get you set back up and put that back on the motor all right so now we got to find the gasket for the rear cover and the oil pan gasket i was lining that up in another video all right so here's this uh here's the rear um gasket for the cover so just make sure you line it up with the old one and and uh, make sure you line this up. There's a little bump out on the front cover too. You can see right here. So just make sure you got it lined up. They are directional. So let me set you guys up and we'll get this cover on. All right, real time. So I'm gonna um, get this, this onto these with same bolts. Real nice screws. This one thing over here. That's the valve cover, timing cover, and oil pump. These are all 10 millimeter, so I'm really not. Not too stressed about it. Oh, I got them right here. So I'll leave those in. Got them. Sorry. I'm off camera. Um, I got them all. They're all 10 millimeter. There's a lot of bolts on this that are... The only thing is you got to worry about is the different lengths with them. They're mostly... All the covers are like these type 10 millimeter, just different lengths. I like about these gaskets, which I learned about the front cover when I put that on, is they have like little rubber holds on them. So when you slide a bolt through... Um, it, uh, it holds the bolt in place and here's a little bump out right here. Just make sure you got that lined up right, which is good. So anyways, um, yeah, I kind of like it how it kind of grabs the bolt when you want to line it up. You know what I mean? And I did, uh, clean the back of this, which is some brake cleaner and cleaned it up. So now... What I'm trying to do is line this crankshaft because this plate has to be right in line with that the end of the crankshaft here. I can see what's going on already. Already. Let's get all the bolts started at least. And 
I want to make sure we line this thing up. Make sure you get it all started. See if I can push the seal on. All right, that's much better. All right, so while you're doing that, make sure you get this seal set before you do put uh, tighten any bolts in. Obviously, I'm just finger tightening them right now, but that just went on nice and snug. Happy the way that that sounded. I don't know if that got caught on camera, but I am happy the way that sounded. Sounded like it sealed right up, which is good. And good thing is, I hope these seals. I don't know. Again, I don't know how many miles were on this motor, but that seal did not look compromised at all. I didn't see any any issue with uh, with uh, oil, which was nice. Ran into, well, not really, I can get that one in. That started, right? That one not started? Nope. Get that one started. You want to make sure you start all these things by hand, especially critical things like this. And I'm sure there is a torque s sequence, and I'm going to look that up, see if I can find that out for you. This one just needed to be pushed in a little bit on that little bump out. Yeah, you definitely don't want to cross these at all. Never cross thread these. What I'm going to do is run these down one click on the gun. I'm actually going to turn my setting down to one. Oh, go the right way. And I'm just going to snug these down, kind of like in a crisscross pattern here. And then I'm going to uh, look find out what the torque spec is i'm assuming it's 18 18 uh foot pounds but we're gonna find out look that up right now well all right i'm looking here in the manual and basically yeah i should have read that first and we figured it out in real time um with the screwdriver on the uh three little spots right here so that's all done but i'm i'm assuming i can't find it but the front cover that's identical to this on the front side of the timing cover is 18 foot pounds i'm going to do 18 foot pounds on these two on these on these bolts back here as well and button this back up and get this mounted back on the engine stand you the only reason why i did it this way is um because in order to put the oil pan on i don't want to take this back off because there's two bolts that go here and there's two bolts that go on the front side of the timing cover front cover of the motor and once I torque that down in sequence, which there is a sequence to do the oil pan, I wanted not to take it back off. So rear oil main seal is in, rear cover is clean and put back on, torque 18 foot pounds and new gasket between the engine block and the cover, done. done. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Rear oil, mm, rear oil seal rear main seal rear main seal is put in place new gasket on the cover 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 is clean torque it down to 18 foot pounds you can see she's hanging from the chain still i gotta get one of those engine um uh mounts here to pick this up when i set it in the truck <gasps> oops i mean the vehicle <laughs> and uh yeah the reason why i did it this way is because i wanted to do the oil pan like i said earlier so that was my uh i had to do that step before i did this step so that's done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was kind of educational. Um, leave a comment down below. Make sure you hit the notifications bell so you can guys keep up on this series of doing the motor. And uh, if you haven't already, if you like this video uh, and you like this type of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.